Okay, we want to do a little review on this trail camera we got from our Chinese friends. It's a Campark 22. It's a solar integrated, has a little solar panel on top here. Uh, camo, it's a pretty nice camera. And uh, it's guaranteed for a year on battery. And I'm not gonna get too involved in here, but uh, you can do a lot of things with it. It takes still pictures and it takes still pictures followed by video or just video. Pretty well made camera. The hinges are good, the clasps are good. And all your controls. I've had it out for months now. In the coldest, coldest weather, had a little bit of issues uh, with it charging. It, it got down to 41%, but I had it in the shade facing away from the light but it never went below that, and it took videos the whole time. I had it in a deep, dark shaded area. It dropped down to like 85% when it warmed up. It kept charging, and then when I put it in this, facing the sun, it stayed at 100%. It, this is over six months now. Uh, it takes great pictures, it takes great video, and it has sound to go with it. Although deer doesn't make a whole lot of sound walking, except walking through the woods, you hear the leaves crunching. but. Uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, using this thing. It has a porthole for your tripod in the bottom and your charging port for the battery. It's underneath here. There's a red light on there. Plug it in. It tells you when it's charging. The screen, I think it's about two and a half inch screen. It, uh, it's kind of small. You really can't tell what you're looking at, but when you put that thing into your laptop or your computer, it is crystal clear. It's beautiful, beautiful videos. I think it's well worth the money they're asking for it. Right now it's at 100%. I just took it out today. 100% battery. There's your screen. It does, it does have an option of hooking it up to a Wi-Fi. So when you go to check your cameras, you don't have to go the whole way to the camera. You can stop, take your phone out after you download the app and pull up all your pictures from up there. It's not as good as a cellular camera, but you don't have to go in at all, but it does give you that option. It has to be within 20 yards of the work though. Anything, I mean, you might as well just go to the, you might as well just go to the camera and pull the uh, SD card and switch it out. Uh, you can reformat your SD card in here and uh, you can clean your SD card out whenever you're done with all your videos and you don't want to save anything. Uh, everything's good, has a nice back to it, put a strap through it and the only one of the negatives I got to say about it, they gave me two straps, can't really complain about that. But I had one and this little clasp is pretty cheap. When I pulled it tight, I snapped it over, it broke. So now I gotta be a little more careful with the second one, but it has a place to put a, your cable through so that uh, you can strap it to a tree and hopefully nobody will steal it, but nothing's foolproof. And it has two lenses. Now uh, the two lenses on there, one is for the still pictures and the other one's for the video. And uh, it, uh, there's all kinds of settings for the length of the video. I'm just going to tell you right now, I've been very pleased with this camera. I want to thank them for sending it to me. I'm going to keep using it and I would recommend it. And I, I got no complaints other than the strap, the buckle and the battery in the worst conditions stayed charged. So yes, uh, I would buy another one of these. I think it runs about $128 right now. I think it was up around 158, but uh, the price has dropped down a little bit. Uh, it's probably your next best thing to a cellular camera. Even my cellular camera doesn't take the videos and pictures this does and paid more for it. But uh, that's all I can say. I, I, would, I would definitely buy one of these. It's worth the money. I enjoy using it.